Good day, good day! <laughs> How the heck are ya? Welcome to Roverland. Oh, I got something special for you today. Yes, we are going to be looking at the brand new, new for 2020 Hot Wheels, the Land Rover Defender 90. Yes. This is it, brand new. This is the uh, L case, just came out. I just got this. Uh, I actually had to get mine off eBay. Uh, talking about that, I'm gonna post up here uh, the unboxing video that I did on uh, Saturday, so you can check that out. So yeah, here we are. We're gonna look at all the Hot Wheel Defender castings and see how the new brother uh, measures up. Stay tuned because I got a special surprise at the end. All right, if you uh, joined me on the unboxing Saturday uh, video, you know that I opened one of these up. I don't know if we really want to take a look at the, uh, the whole card there and see... Um, what we have going on there. You take a look at it. Born in 1990, Soul Hall, UK. By the Land Rover. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, yeah. Just came out. This is the Factory Fresh. Four of ten. Very nice, very nice. Uh, yeah. All right, well, we've seen it in the package. Now let's take it out of the package and see what we can come up with here with this beauty. Now, if we could focus right away. Come on, camera, there we go. This baby is a beauty. This is uh, enamel red. Uh, just a beautiful car. We're gonna take a look at it a little bit in more in depth than I did on Saturday. Because, man, oh, man, this is uh, this is an awesome car. Yes. I love that it's got a skid plate in front. A lot of these cars, um, you know, they just, they got a, the, uh, the uh, like the gasser and stuff like that. The Hot Wheels gasser, they got that post sticking right down there. And it is kind of cheesy, you know. It looks like a toy. But this is great. This has got the... Uh, Flush faced grill with a winch on it there and the skid plate. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So enamel red, no sparkles or anything like that. I did find out from uh, the Lamley group and his unboxing uh, that Dima is the dude at Hot Wheels that has designed or put together these uh, Land Rovers, I, for sure this one here. So uh, yeah, he's the guy behind this. So that's why he gets his name on there. And uh, and I'm not really sure what uh, the, the bottom there is about. Square draw course. Uh, you know, I didn't get a chance to take a look at that. I just got this out and I just wanted to uh, compare it with the other ones. So here we go. This is a very nice feature, full size uh, rear tire on it, but it doesn't stick out. It's very nicely done. It's got the uh, hazard like uh, red and white stripe on it. Very, very cool. I like the, uh, the rivets that they incorporate there and stuff like that. That is really cool. Beautiful rear bumper with mud flaps. Very authentic. I love it a lot. Got the eyebrows on there. Those are uh, painted decal black. Hot wheels on the back here. Uh, 07, I'm not really sure what that means either. Hey, wait a minute, it's 13 on this side. Seven on that side. Huh, that is different on each side. Did you know that? Well, I'll be. I'll be, and I don't know what that A is there, and it's a D, I think, on this side. 
Maybe that's his last name, D for Dima and A for whatever his first name is. But yeah, 0713. Sure, that means something. But it's really nice. It's got the uh, ribs on the top there. It's got the pop-up sunroof, kind of an American thing. It has the cut-in uh, Alpine windows. Now, these would be smoke windows, and I'm going to guess it's a black interior. Uh, looks like a uh, left hooker, U.S., uh, four bucket seats. Now, if you can see in there, it does have the post right in the middle of the car. Yeah, they're both on, they're on the inboard of the axles. Usually, uh, a lot of times, they put that post way in the back here, and you can see it right out the back. Uh, nice having the uh, rear windows and the sides there. That's really kind of cool. So let's take a look at the base again, and uh, what do we got there? Pretty straightforward. Not a lot of details. Uh, you know, as far as the axles and stuff like that, don't have the uh, offset pumpkin for the front. The rear is uh, offset, so uh, yeah, made in Malaysia, 2019, Land Rover Defender, the GHB38. I think that has to do with the uh, model number there. Sorry about that. So yeah, so let's take a look. So here is the first um, Defender model that Hot Wheels did. Now, uh, they got this one. This was made in China. This is the Smith Electric. This is the Corgi casting that they bought from Corgi, and uh, then they just made it their own. So you kind of see they're kind of really a big model. This one here doesn't have a um, any kind of scale or anything on it, but you can see the two posts there, uh, three ribs. Uh, yeah, but just a much, much bigger, much bigger model, uh, than the, uh, new one. But, uh, yes, very cool. So that's the new one. Of course, this one is uh 110 pickup and this is the 90. All right, let's take a look at the next one that they put out. This is the, uh, Defender double cab. Now, it does share the same wheels as uh, as this one. I believe they're the exactly the same diameter and stuff, just that this one here is the inner um, spokes are painted and not the lip. So that's kind of nice. It really sets it off, fits it well. This really fits well. These wheels, uh, they're a little bit big, per se, but they fit the wheel well very good, and they fit the standard very good. Now, the first one of uh, these uh, double cabs had the big old honking wagon wheels on them, as I call them, and uh, just don't really work. They would hang out the, um, the wheel well, out the fender. See, now this one is pretty close to scale uh, to its uh, new brother. But they are different. You can see that the, the hoods are different. And uh, they are kind of different as far as uh, wheelbase and size. So something's off there a little bit. Uh, because this is, uh, you know, a double cab. This is like a 130, if not 110. And this is a 90. And they're practically the same, you know. So, yeah. But very, very nice. So there you go. That's the second rendition. Of course, this one, this is nice. It has the, the snorkel on it. So the other exciting one that we have, and uh, this comes from the Fast and the Furious, and uh, I've got a video for this. We'll probably tag that in the end, but another beautiful truck. Nice big wheels on it, but not too big. Uh, very, very nice. Once again, long wheelbase. Uh, Defender, modern day Defender, and uh, yeah, just a very nice, of course, they're a little bit different in the hood again, about the same hood uh, hood length, and you can see how, you know, after that, we kind of lose um, 
scale there a little bit on that but uh, this kind of goes with the old old style hood without the scoop but still it is a totally different casting I mean that's a casting this is a different casting and then now this this one here is a different casting and then they got a little bit more details to the back uh, this one obviously is the um, van type get out sorry you can't hardly see that so well in uh, being black uh, this one uh, does have a window in it that is you can't really see out too much of it but very nicely detailed real riders so in saying that <laughs> this is going to be a super this is going to be a super i'm telling you that that, that right now or it's going to come out in the uh, premium line that's for sure that's for sure if not anything it's going to be a zamax yeah zamax zamax here's the this is the granddaddy of them all i just brought this one out it's still a hot wheels this is the series which is the uh granddaddy to the defender and uh, they just pushed out the the grill there and uh filled it in with a v8 by this time this is a series three pickup uh 109 again long wheelbase they like them long wheelbases don't they let's get a short wheelbase convertible huh yeah i call it that the jeep style but uh yeah just a little bit bigger these the, the wheels aren't the same you know this is kind of different um uh, once again this this too uh, doesn't really give us a a scale to it you know they just don't have a scale to it so there you go wow well hey uh we're going on to 12 minutes and uh yeah thanks for sticking around if you like what you see give me a thumbs up and subscribe because you know what time it is now <laughs> That's right. We're going to drill this bugger apart. Holy cow. Let's get to it. We don't want to run out of time. So I just got my old drill here. Got to check out the inside of this. I got two of them. Hot Wheels is going to produce a lot of these buggers. So I'm not really worried about getting another one. So we are going to check it out. Only right here on Roverland. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to see exactly what this bugger has for us in store. Just taking it nice and easy. I don't know what size this is. Just a little bit bigger than the, the rivet. Just going at it nice and easy. Gentle pressure. Very cool. Very cool. Don't want to rush it too much and damage anything. All right, I think we can give it a try here. Blow her off. Yeah, let's give a little bit more on this front one here. Just going to give it a one try. If we do this right, we can just get it in one shot, right? There we go. All right, are you guys ready for this? Oh, I should have warned you. Sorry, if you were squeamish of heart, <laughs> you should have looked away a long time ago. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ugh. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. First time on live television. <laughs> All right, here's the base. Nice, held on by two uh, prongs there to hold the axle. But that is it. That's got the uh, running boards on it. The rear, no, that's not the rear bumper. A tab there to hold things up. And it has the uh, front bumper with the um, winch. All right, here's the interior piece. And that lifts off. Check that out. That is, uh, wow, there we go. Nice, you can see the post goes right through the middle of the car. I kind of like that. Get it away from the back end, you know. So, yeah, there we are, the left hooker. Three row seats in the back. Nice seats in the front. A little bit of detail there. Kind of 
wanting with the steering wheel, but that's all right. So we've got mud flaps. We've got the uh, holding the axles down tabs. We have the front grill. We have the back hold the axle down tabs, rear mud flaps, and the rear bumper. And there is how that rear um, full size tire is on there. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So that sits, sits on there just like that. Very nice, huh? Very nice. All right, then the glass just kind of slides right out, no? All right, there's the glass with the uh, sunroof that pops up through there, enclosed cabin. Does kind of have a uh, rib there for uh, the uh, rear sliding, kind of like. Alpine windows there. Little bit of windshield wiper action there on the windshield. Got a little scuff there from manufacturing. But really, really nice. So here it is. Here's the casting itself. And uh, really nice, nice, beefy. Look at that. Look at that middle post. That just comes right down straight like a pencil. Yeah, there's no... Uh, usually they have... Uh, you know, uh, supports and stuff like that, you know, that you can kind of, you know, if you were going to cut that off, it'd be a big, huge support, but no, that comes off really nice. So there's the rear and it's got a little tab there. So you can, uh, slide that rear tire on. I really like that. Going to be nice to get, the uh, details on here. It's a mirrored image practically. But uh, yeah, very, very nice. Very nice. Can't wait to see some customs. Can't wait to do some customs. You know, I don't know what they call that hood that's raised, that raised center hood there. I'm, I'm sure they got a name for it. Comment down below if you know what that is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you go. Right here on Roverland, uh, dissected, yes, brand new Land Rover Defender. Put that in there what she looks like with that in there very nice little cutaway with that support yeah and then that is it pop that baby right on there very very cool very nice well there you go folks awesome hey if you know what the 07 and 13 have to do with this model let me know in the comments below but there we go. That's it. You got an inside view. Thanks for sticking around. You got the bonus footage there. <laughs> Want to give a big shout out to my new subscribers as well as my old subscribers. Thank you for sticking with me. We are growing as a channel. It's awesome. Go over to Facebook. We got over 100 members for the Roverland Facebook page. Go over there and uh, show me how many of these you got so far, huh? And, uh, yeah, if you want to comment, which one of these is your favorite so far? Yeah, this one's got to do it, man. As soon as it comes out in a Zamax or Real Riders on it, ah, man, that's going to be awesome. So there you go. I'm going to show you this side because you don't normally see this side. You only see the other side. All right, join me on Instagram, Roverland Channel. And as always, as I get out of here, thank you for joining me today. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.